Okay, now we'd like to check two things. We're going to check to see if this is a continuous poly line around here and it's ready to go into a CNC. Uh, the reason we want that, we don't want any breaks so the spindle would stop and take an exit move or something and destroy the spindle or the top or whatever. So we have a view of poly lines. Oh, we can't see a poly line here. I'll show you what that look, looks like after we correct it. So first we're going to look for contiguous breaks. This, there it is. That means there's a little tiny break in the line somehow or another. So let's zoom in on that and see what we've got. Wow, it's not very obvious, is it? There it is. So it looks like the two, for whatever reason, we were offsetting and filleting. We didn't get that quite tight. So now we're going to uh, fill it with a sharp corner and correct that. Now you'll see the line turned to a dark color. That is the poly line around the edge. Notice it's 28.42 square feet. So whenever you ask for poly lines, you'll get a little square footage in each particular box that you drew. 